Hello everyone, I'm Alisha and welcome back to the Google Play Policy Bytes India video series. This video series is specifically built for Indian developers to educate and inform them about the most common policy issues and the best way to address them. We are sure you'll find this video useful as we together make Google Play a safe place for users around the world. Let's take a closer look at our policies around COVID-19 apps for you to better understand what are the requirements that we have been setting up since the onset of the pandemic. To start off, let me introduce what type of apps are subjected to COVID-19 restrictions. First, apps that provide medical treatment, vaccine testing, or other related information specifically for COVID-19. Second, Apps that support COVID-19 related response, containment, research, or education and training efforts. Last but not the least, apps that support services used to respond specifically to COVID-19. For example, apps that provide social support, such as food stamps or payment, healthcare, loans, etc. Now, the reason that we have been putting these restrictions rigidly is to help users to find public information around COVID-19 and make sure that the Play Store is not filled up by a bunch of random apps that may contain false information, especially the apps created by notorious abusers who would like to make easy money leveraging the pandemic situation. Now let's look further into the COVID-19 App Store listing policies to find out what are the specific requirements for these type of apps. First of all, we only allow apps in these categories to use COVID-19 related keywords in their app title or icon to prevent any commercial apps from monetizing or promoting their apps on the store by leveraging COVID-19 as a keyword. This means that other apps may use COVID-19 related terms in their in-app experience, app description or app screenshots, but not in their title or icon. For non-medical related apps, References to COVID-19 are limited to non-health related claims, such as opening hour changes, sharing tips on activities to do at home, providing commentary on the economic or social impact of COVID-19, etc. Of course, the official government apps are eligible for COVID-19 resource portion of the Google Play Store, and the following categories of apps must be published, commissioned, or directly endorsed by an official government entity. First is contact tracing apps, including all apps that track or monitor infected or exposed individuals for the purpose of COVID-19 response or mitigation. Next is COVID-19 status apps, including all apps that verify an individual's vaccination status, current infection, or history of infection for the purpose of determining the individual's eligibility for travel or entry into public spaces. The jurisdiction or applicable geographical region for that endorsement must be declared during the proof of permission process and must be prominently disclosed in the app's Play Store listing. As you can see, we put stricter restrictions on these type of apps that must require sensitive user data to perform its core functionalities because we treat protecting user data and privacy with highest priority. With that, Let's move on to the requirements for COVID-19 contact tracing apps. There are three different types of requirements for COVID-19 contact tracing apps, and these can be broken down into two different areas, one with privacy requirements and another with app visibility requirements. Under the privacy requirements, the first requirement is to remember the prominent disclosure on which you'll need to inform users of any data collected by your app and provide them the opportunity to refuse data collection. Next, under the privacy requirement, is the privacy policy. Please be thorough in how you handle user data by disclosing what data is collected, why it is collected, how the data is processed and used. Lastly, under the app visibility requirement, user awareness is the key. You should be transparent and clear on how you run the app. Please be reminded that users need to know when and how the app is collecting personal data and how it is used. To do so, please consider the following privacy policy requirements. Apps must have a publicly accessible privacy policy that comprehensively discloses the access, 
collection, use, and sharing of personal and sensitive user data. And for apps created specifically for the COVID-19 response, apps may not access personal and sensitive data that is not required to directly support the public health emergency. Apps may only use the data collected to support COVID-19 related efforts or epidemiological research or to comply with valid legal processes. And lastly, the app's privacy policy must reflect this limited use. If data may be used or shared to comply with valid legal processes, this must be clearly disclosed in the privacy policy, along with a link to available information about the relevant law and any user rights to contest legal data request. That's it for this video. Please do check out these helpful resources to learn more about our policies. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay safe and stay healthy.